Right, so uh, while I'm waiting for the bits to turn up for the GSXR, I'm sort of turn my attention at uh, just getting the pit bike back up and running, a couple of little changes to it. So uh, it's had a full rebuild and um, I've been through it top to bottom, but I'll probably do a video when I get this outside and just uh, sort of talk to you about what I've uh, done to the bike and some of the upgrade parts I've put on it and what have you. Um, but I'll be at Lakeside on it shortly and uh, spend a bit of time on this little beast because most of the uh, big bike track days are all fully booked at the minute so uh, I can go out on this fairly regularly at Lakeside Karting and Swindon and a few other places so uh, you know we'll uh, do, spend a bit of time on this and have a bit of fun on it but um, one other thing I wanted to do was um, improve the thumb brake there so this is a front master cylinder just with a cut down lever that I use as a thumb brake but it's a bit awkward and there's been a few better ones developed on the market but uh, me being me and I like making things, I'm going to make my own better version. So with some cardboard engineering, we're going to make a space, some spaces up, uh, drill the lever, etc. And have a have a proper thumb brake down there that would be a lot easier to use. And it's quite a popular um, part now for the pit bike scene. Uh, and in obviously World Superbikes and MotoGP, etc. So people are using the rear brake more and more. And uh, from what I've listened to and, and read online it's quite a good thing to do if you're running a touch wide on a corner is to apply the uh, the rear brake slide and it pulls the bike back in online so i'm interested to try it so i'm going to get this um kind of mounted up and then made out of steel get the little thumb plate welded on get it sprayed up black then we need to make some aluminium spaces to get it kind of sat in the right position there um, and then we should be good to go so that's the next little project i'm going to tackle Right, so here's the uh, cardboard mock-up. So I've just been getting the uh, the length here right. I've got some aluminium tubes. So we'll s I've drilled that out to, to 8mm. So we've got a nice long M M8 bolt there. And the position's right for my hand. Whoops. Um, so you can see that rests there quite nicely. So I'll just pick up this that I just chucked on the floor. There we go. So we'll uh, make up a uh, spacer uh, that correct length. And we'll drill this, make another spacer for in there. And we'll make the real thing out of metal. Right, so I've made up the spacer, as you can see there. That's 24mm long, by the way, in case anyone wants to make their own one. And I'll just drop this M6 uh, bolt in here and drill the lever. So I just need to measure the distance um, from here to here. And then make up another aluminium spacer. Um, and then trim this off to suit. And then uh, make this out of metal. Right, so that's both spaces made up and they're both sitting level now. So I just need to clean up the edges there slightly with the file. And uh, that's that bit done. Right, so that's the rough shapes cut out with the grinder. So we're going to swap over to the uh, paddle sander thing. And uh, just sort of neaten up all the edges and stuff. But that's its sort of first rough cut. Then we'll start putting some holes in it and making it look a bit nicer. Then we'll... Uh, have to go and pay a visit to dad and get that uh, welded on there as I don't have a welder myself yet so we'll get that welded on there. Right, so I just uh, filed these all up, um, used the paddle sander and also the half round file just to get in some of the corners and stuff so that's all, all done now so we'll um, mark up the uh, M8 hole, pop that in there then mark the M6 one, pop it in there and obviously make sure that both the uh, bolts are uh, horizontal and uh, equal in length and whatever so we'll just double check the spaces that we've made up which will sit there whoopsie daisy so we'll sit sit those there and then um get uh get it welded up and get some black paint on it all right so there's the uh, first mock-up done i had to make another spacer here because it was slightly the wrong length and it's sort of causing it to twist and bind up um but uh, yeah it all works as you can see so we've um one thing I might do is just space this forward a little bit so I might make this slightly a uh, bit of thicker material or double it up and then just bring that forward a touch and uh, we'll get some proper bolts in there these are just some ones I found in the odds and sods box as you can see they're a bit uh, odd lengths and don't look very pretty so we'll swap those out I'll give these uh, spaces a clean up now they, they fit and it all works and um, yeah pretty happy with that for uh, pretty much zero cost well the master cylinder was 12 quid and the line was about nine quid from eBay, and these are selling uh, for seventy-five quid. Um, for basically, the same thing that I've made for not a lot. So quite happy with that. Uh, yep. Oh, 
that from Dad's for his welding. Check it out. Very good indeed. Um, so thanks, Dad, for that. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I made up another thumb pad or whatever you want to call it out of um, this bit of box section. I sort of saw it in a workshop and thought it's got a nice radius on it. So I cut that piece out and made that. So you can see that it looks quite professional, I'd say. So I'm just going to give it a um, uh, rough the surface up um, with some sandpaper and then I'm going to give it a lick of black paint and then put it all back together. A couple of coats of black paint mm, looking pretty smart I'd say so just gonna hit it with a heat gun um, get the paint off a bit quicker and, uh, and what I might do is put a bit of uh, grip tape on the thumb there so it uh, looks a bit more factory and uh, grips the uh, gloves a bit better especially if it's raining as well but I'm quite happy with that. I've just given the uh, bolts a quick coat of black paint just to smarten up a bit because one was a bit rusty and one was a bit uh, silvery so uh, yeah we've just uh, done that and done that on the uh, the allen key bolt as well so it looked a bit smarter once it's all bolted up so just wait for it to dry i want another mark's top tip as i know you love them um there you go elastic band around the pliers you can hold stuff very useful for soldering wires and other stuff like that so uh, another uh, another top free tip from me bosh right so uh, the thumb brake's all finished up now so i gave it a couple more coats of black paint and a bit of clear coat as well over the top um so it looks quite neat now added a bit of a uh, grip tape here so you can get a bit of grip on your thumb um, in case it's raining or whatever it looks a bit smarter than just black paint and there you have it there is the thumb brake all done and ready for action